New Year's Eve 2020. What little there was of the running season is over. Cash-strapped heritage railways will stay closed now until spring, and dependent on being able to reopen again is a crucial period of winter maintenance. With a hugely important grant secured, Foxfield Railway needs to replace a section of its main running track. And to do that, they need to fetch the only suitable wagon for the job, with the only engine that is capable of pulling it, and they have just one day left to do it. Today, this train is carrying hope. My name's Ron Wally. I've been involved with the Foxfield Railway for 53 years now, virtually since it started. And I arrived here first in 1970, so it's been my 50th year. It's New Year's Eve, it's freezing cold, but this is the time of year when Heritage Railways have to start thinking about maintenance in order to operate in the next year. Today we're going up to our Dillon Park station. We're taking locomotive Weston. Most of our engines are down for maintenance and we've only got it and a small diesel available for traffic. Now we've got to collect some wagons from off up the line which are essential to our winter programme of maintenance and Whiston is the only engine capable of pulling these wagons from the other end. It's designed to pull is 1120 tonnes on the level. This is also the last day of Whiston, uh, a steam engine that's been at the railway since March of 1983. Its last day is because it has to have a statutory overhaul that comes due every 10 years. And its boiler ticket runs out at midnight tonight, so it's going to be its last steaming until it's gone through its major overhaul. Of course, we've had very little income in 2020 because of COVID, we've not been able to operate our normal passenger services. Like many heritage railways, major sources of revenue like Santa Specials were abandoned due to the pandemic. But Foxfield has been lucky. It's the recipient of a special grant. In our case, we're going to do some track relaying. The rails which we're going to lay have been financed by a grant from the National Lottery Heritage Fund, for which we're very, very grateful. And we're having rails delivered next week. Conditions stipulate this money must be spent on the track work and has to be spent quickly. It's something we need to do so for various reasons we have to do this work today to allow us to hopefully reopen to passenger traffic sometime in the spring of 2021. On a heritage railway even collecting a truck isn't as easy as it sounds. As if the ticking time and lack of motor power wasn't enough, the required truck hasn't been needed for a while and the sub-zero temperatures may cause additional complications. Trouble is expected. Whiston is connected to two coaches to carry her small but essential team of dedicated volunteers. Everything's in place. The green light is given and she's away. Several inches of freezing snow has covered Staffordshire in a beautiful, scenic display, closing major roads that nearly caused today's charter to be abandoned. Approaching Cresswell Ford level crossing, the signal is down. Something's not right, and they're not even halfway yet. The crossing keeper, Rocky, approaches the driver. He explains around the bend an old tree has fallen on the line, likely the result of the heavy snow. The team go to investigate. Returning, they take more manpower with them. And 20 minutes and three strongmen later, the track is cleared. We're back on track. Whiston's fire is running hot though and it's burning water faster than desirable. If there's another delay like this, it could cause problems. Unlike many preserved railways that run through valleys, Foxfield runs through open countryside, affording sweeping views of today's wintry wonderland that would be perfect for next year's Santa specials. And it's exactly this sort of event that visitors love and the railway needs. At last, the Intrepid team arrives at Dillhorn. 
Whiston is disconnected from her coaches and goes to inspect the needed truck. It's stationed beyond the platform, near the bend that goes a further quarter of a mile down into the old colliery. After inspection, it's discovered its brakes have seized. It's not unexpected, but it's another delay the team could do without. By this point, it's lunchtime, but instead of picking up a sandwich, the team grab their hammers and get to work on freeing the wheels. Ivy, prickly bushes, weeds, and freezing metal are just inconveniences at this point. It's long, loud work for the Foxfield team, some of whom have to shuffle on their backs to reach the required areas, and boiler suits offer little comfort and protection. It's some time later now, and Whiston is running low on water. If there are even more lengthy problems, the boiler could go critical. To prevent this, it's decided to send Whiston back light engine, as in, with no carriages, to refill back at Cabeswell Road. It's a 40 minute round trip, plus the time at the water tower. In the meantime, the crew keeps warm, shuffling around on the platform, or in separate compartments inside. Whiston returns, and is connected to her coaches. Now, it's the moment of truth. If the truck won't move, the railway is out of time and options for moving it, and the reopening of the railway is in jeopardy. Whiston slowly backs the coaches down the old siding, and is connected to the trucks. This has to work. They've done it! The frozen truck inches forward, snapping the vines that were clinging to its wheels. As the train trundles into the station, tired volunteers winch in the crane and board for the return journey home. And just in time, the sun is setting now and taking with it the needed light. Instead of working in the bitter dark, the driver and fireman are treated to a wonderful sunset view heading back across the snowy fields to Blythe Bridge. Pausing just before Caverswell Road, Whiston temporarily halts to allow the trucks to be disconnected for easier shunting. She drops the coaches at the station and returns to collect her precious cargo. So as from next week, the engine will be slowly taken apart and refurbished. It'll become a constituent set of parts. Oh, it's a slightly sad day, but I've been here before. She'll bounce back in about three years time, all newly overhauled, newly painted, looking like straight out of the box. They're a very valuable workhorse for preservation. So it's a labor of love, it's an expensive hobby, but it's fascinating. The last lever movement for 2020. The austerity era engine shunts across to the designated siding, drops her load, and rolls victoriously towards the shed. What a relief. Mission accomplished. Despite the weather, pandemic and all the other challenges, the team have pulled it off and January will see the essential track replaced. Whiston has served her final day carrying the hope of the railway's future and in the true spirit of her wartime roots has rallied the volunteers around her, albeit for the last time for now. Do you want to volunteer at Foxfield Railway? There are many opportunities. Contact FLR inquiries at foxfieldrailway.co.uk